Good morning, all my crafty friends. Today, I'd like to share with you my trip to Scrapbook Expo. It was held last week uh, here in Ontario, California. And you know how much fun those Scrapbook Expos are and how many goodies you can find. But, but th I did something different this year. You know how they had the making takes where you go from different spots, pay three, two, some or even five dollars to do the making takes. But it's like a hassle and there's so many people there and you have to get in line and wait your turn and there's so much noise. I thought attending the class for just for the making takes was a great idea. The class was forty eight dollars. But um they give you this pack. Well they had uh six different choices of packs you can cho choose and I chose the travel pack. And uh, here it is, and it's twenty dollars uh, worth of merchandise. So that brings your class to twenty-eight dollars, which I thought was a great deal. Now at the class we was at, we had reserved a table for four, and it was me, my granddaughter, my granddaughter, the one with the two great grandkids. So she's around. I have to say twenty-five. Don't want in case you see my video. She's twenty-five plus. And uh, two ladies from uh, scrapbookoutlet.net. Uh, They're friends of mine. They had a, a mark and 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 uh, they had a store. Uh, mark and I don't know what they call that. Anyway, they had a store, and uh, they now they they exclusively uh, internet. So um, if you need any supplies, that's the place to go. They have all the goodies. Uh, so she came and uh, they were at the table with us. So we had a lot of fun. And this is, I'm going to show you my kit that I got. I have I just taken out the bag. This is the first time I got a good look at it. It came with uh, two uh, cardboard stickers. And the one I selected was travel. And it came with uh, these sheets of paper. And they buy Glitz. Glitz uh, is one who, uh, Glitz paper. Okay, I, I never bought any glitz paper before, but it's nice. It looks like it's distressed already. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that. And the kids travel, so this is perfect. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I love this. And there's two of these at the back. Oh, okay. Very nice, very nice. And then flowers. The colors all go together very nice. I, li I like that. You don't have to think. And the paper looks like it's already been distressed. Uh, you I can't tell, but it looks like it's been distressed with green on top of this beige and this crab color and this red. It's really, really nice. And here's this dry. Also this. It's, I like this paper. This is a nice line of paper. I'm going to have to um, check them out. Mm -hmm, nice. And the last two sheets. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. So that was the the kit we got with the class. And then uh, the the ladies from Scrapbook Expo bought me and my granddaughter and uh, uh, a kit that has something to work with while we were waiting. The class, it opens from 3 to 12. And you can uh, do your own cropping between 3 and 5 until the make and take class starts. And so she brought us all a kit. And we talked so much, I didn't even get to the kit. But here's a nice kit from uh, her store. She has an online store. And I met them when they had their... Uh, store at the mall. Oh, these are nice. Here, it makes a little accordion. Okay. I might tackle this and I'll show you guys how I complete it. And this one the papers. Alright, this is nice. Thank you, Miss Scooter and Cindy. And then let's go to the making tape. I kept them in the little bag they came in to um, keep them separate while we were in class. So, let's see what I got here. They're not in order of the making tape that was given that day. What they did was they had each uh, instructor had 20 minutes to give us um, the class. And then after that, they sold their product in the back. And 
I mean, they had some good stuff, so at the show, we knew where to go back to. This is one of the little spiders we made. And this was from uh, Paper Wizard. And it's a little library pocket and spider. I completed all my, um, almost all my uh, make and take while they were demonstrating there. Some of them went very, very fast. Okay, now that's why I like that one. And then this was done by, um, this make and take was from the Rubber Cafe. And we did like, it's like a, a porthole. And she used um, curling gel or curl activator. And uh, you put it in a little baggie. And then you put it between, uh, sandwich between this. And this is what we made. And I thought that was cute. It's like a look into a porthole. And that's the Rubber Cafe. And then this is from... Ooh, me I mixed them up. This is another make and take you did. I don't see the company to give them their props. And that was cute. I finally learned how to make a pinwheel. And then we made it. Oh, this was really, really nice. Afterwards, uh, the next day we went to their booth and bought some more. My uh, granddaughter wants to make these. I made this. Isn't that nice? Even my chubby wubby hand can go on it. And this is very nice. She uh, gave us the stickers to choose with Halloween's theme. And these are the stickers I had left. You can make it any way you want. And they give you the glue and everything. Now, I like this. It's called Craft Fantastic. Now, I love this. I'm definitely going to, me and my granddaughter are going to make some more jewelry. She loved this. She had to make two for her girls. I'm giving this one to my other granddaughter. And she's making two for her girls. I don't think the twins are ready for it. They might eat it. I don't know. Okay, and then this, I'm making tape from a lady. She taught us how to use the COVID markers. I didn't do a good job, but um, it's okay. Because you only have 20 minutes to do it. And then they collect the markers back. And they, they use the uh, Spectrum markers. Is The company is B Creation. And uh, it came out pretty good. And then, another making tape. And see, this is very nice because we got to sit down and talk and laugh and break and shop at the, all at the same time. Now, this comes from a, a company called Crazy Creation. And I, we made this card. And in a in, in shaker box. So we went and bought some more of these shaker boxes. And we bought um, some... Uh, these wibble wobbles while we were there because between classes you had 20 minutes to shop and this was really nice I had leftover beads to come home and try something else then we had this was given to us I, I kind of messed up on this because I used the wrong glue and uh, I thought she said wet glue and she said do not use wet glue naturally me jumping the gun I use wet glue. And here's this one here. What I like about this is I have a lot of this texture type paper. I didn't know what to do with it, but now I do. And then I like the way we put the bling on the leaves. That's going to be my next project, putting the bling on the leaves. And you see here where I used the wet glue. And after she did it, uh, I realized she said, no wet glue. But this came out really nice. Really nice. And then this is another make and take. Uh, this was from Avocado Art. Uh, okay. We made this. And I'm not a very good uh, card maker. But it came out pretty nice. It's pretty cute. Came out nice. I think I was supposed to have raised it up a little bit. And on her stem, she had Who Loves You All in One Row. But uh, mine's a little low. So, by Who is up here. Who loves you, babe? Okay. And then the next intake, uh, next uh, make and take is uh, 
my friend that I always go to at every craft show. She has, it's uh, called Shoestring Production. She is good. And when you go to her booth, she does not allow you to take pictures. And we made this little two layout spread. Isn't it nice? I like it. I like it. I like it. She uh, gave us some, what she uses, she called it putty. And it was blue tinted, and we went over the flowers, and it gives your flowers texture back here. And so I went and bought some white because I, I thought I would color mine myself. And this was nice. You guys need to visit this. Shoestrings uh, Production. She has some nice uh, stuff. I guess you can get her online. And then um, the next make and take. Hope this is not going too long. The next, the next make and take. was by Dollar. Dollarscrapbook.net. I know everybody's familiar with Dollar. He's another personal friend of mine because I go to his booth every time they have a scrapbook expo. And this is uh, what I made with his. And it's like a weaving technique, uh, technique here. We had to go under and over and then under again. And then he used some kind of a dabbers that you dab the paper. They had some kind of paper called um, Resist. It's called a resist technique, and they uh, you put it on there, and it just did all the colors, I, I, and it came out nice. And then this one here, I, I I laughed and told everybody this is the fastest mini book or mini card I ever made in, in my life. And this company was called. Um, Oh, SEI. -E okay. SEI. -E and we made this. I did. I never got to the ribbon on it, on it. We made this. It was a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And you cut it down. And then you have to cut out the pieces that was on here. You cut out to make the clouds. And you cut out the pinwheels. You cut out this little flag. And you put it all together. And you cut this out. Because it gave us the and that. And that's what it came up with. And I told him that's the fastest mini book I ever made in my life. Because all that fussy cutting and all that, which I'm not a good fussy cutter, came out perfect. And that's about it. Now, let me tell you the fun part. I won a prize. They called my number, and this is what I won. I won these flowers. And it's by, um, who, what company is this? W.W. Sassafras. Okay. And uh, stickers. And I said, I, oh, it's two. Okay. This one I won. Let me pull my number. And the grand prize of all, my granddaughter won the grand prize, which was the printer. And Kodak printer. And let's see if I can show you the Kodak printer. Let me see. Don't let me make you dizzy. Okay, don't mind my dirty, uh, there it is. She won that, the grand prize. And she said that was the best $48 she ever spent. I want to thank everybody today for letting me share. And everybody, have a great crafting day.